this is so good. Yo, what's good, my BGA crew? Welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am so excited. I cannot believe that I'm about to do this video. As you can tell by the title, I am eating crispy breaded deep fried seafood. We got king crab legs, snow crab, and jumbo shrimp. You guys, this video is sponsored by More Flavor. I will drop all the links and info to her products and her social media down in the description box below. Let me tell you real quick what we got here. Um, so uh, this is an, a homemade Alfredo sauce that I made and it's heavily seasoned with her Crave More seafood seasoning. Just by the smell of this, don't limit it to just seafood, honey. This is, that would be great on chicken. I can, just by the smell. Everything is battered and deep fried, well, coated and fried in the breading. Instructions on how to do it is on there. And then right here to the left, I have Crave More's Spicy Garlic Lemon Butter. And uh, oh yeah, this one, the breading is called Spicy Crispy Seafood Breading. Again, I haven't tasted it, but just by the smell, I could picture this on fried chicken. Anyway, enough talking, enough chitter chatter. Let's go ahead and get started because I am Stwalvin. Father, I ask that you bless this food and the hands I prepared it. Please provide for those going without. Heal, bless, protect, and provide for my BGA crew. In your precious name I pray. Amen. All right. All right. You guys, I have to go in on this king crab leg. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Oh, my God. You don't know how bad I've been wanting this. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh my god oh my gosh this is everything i imagined oh. Oh. Mm. Mm. wow wow Oh my gosh. Okay. That's with the Alfredo sauce. Mm. Mm. Oh my. You guys. Hold on. Let me take off my jewelry. I'm just about to get messy in here. You guys. I was right when I said that batter would be great on a fried pork chop, on fried chicken. I would not limit it to just seafood. No way. Oh man. Okay, I'm gonna tell you this. I have made some deep fried like chicken in the past, fried pork chops with my own batter. Never has it tasted that well seasoned. It is so seasoned perfectly. Oh my gosh. Now let's go in for the shrimp. I'm gonna tell you what my technique was, what I did. Mmm. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. Look at, look at that. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, well, you guys, so on the label, it says you know, to do the wet mixture or the wet batter first and then douse it in the breading, right? But if you want an extra crunchy finish, double time that so dip it back again after you dipped it in the in the egg wash and then the the breading dip it back into the egg wash and back into the breading and that's what i did here with this bad boy right here this is a king crab leg 
and this is double breading. I wanted to try the two ways, just one way, I mean one layer and then double layer. Mm-hmm, mm. For sure, two. Oh man. More flavor. No wonder you called this more flavor. <laughs> wow. Wow, you guys. And this is my honest, unbiased opinion. I don't care if people sponsor or not. Like, I'm going to give you the uh, my honest review. Literally. Mmm. That bite was a little spicy. Remember, this is spicy. I felt the spice on this bite. But it's not overwhelmingly spicy. You know what I mean? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That's nice. There's cornmeal in here. This is my first time, y'all. This is amazing. If you guys wanna buy any of these products from her line, we got the seasoning, the butter, and the breading. Uh, she does sell it on her website. I will link that website underneath this video in the description box. Mm. Along with her social media account. Wow. You know, I always see my friend eat spicy with tea. Oh my gosh, I love her. And she's always doing like, you know, the breaded um, deep fried seafood. Oh, that spice builds up. Very nice. Very nicely. And she also does like the hot Cheeto crusted ones. And I've always, and then dip it in Alfredo or a cheese sauce. And I've always just salivated watching her. Now I am living the dream. Look at this. I just took this whole bad boy and I said, two, two. Two, two, honey. Two, two. Uh, excuse me. Oh my Lord. Mm. I'm kind of upset. I'm kind of upset because I had ordered four huge from my local Asian market. Mm. Four huge lobster tails. I bought them once before there. They were gigantic. I said, give me four of the ones that I always buy, or that I bought before, sorry, not always buy, but bought before. And I reassured them, I'm like, the big ones, you know, they're like a half a pound each, they're huge. Yeah, 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 we know, we know. Well, it took three days for them to come, right? Go down, oh, I can't get this open, Lord. I go down to pick up my order, right? Four baby lobster tails, I said, uh-uh, nope, give me my money back. Four baby lobster tails. What am I going to do with that? So I said, I'm going to go get me some king crab instead. Mm. And I'm glad I did. It's okay. I was a little bothered by not having the, the, the lobster tails. But you know what? The king crab and the jumbo shrimp made up for it. Because I was just going to do lobster tails and maybe some snow crab. But nah. I'm glad I did this instead. Let me know. I I ended up reviewing more uh, flavors garlic butter uh, a couple videos ago. Let me know for those of you that tried it. Did you like it? Uh, who bought it? Let me know. Okay, now we're trying her garlic butter again. Oh. Mm -hmm. So lemony. I love that. Mm. 
What's my book? Oh, here it is. I'm like, what's my other piece? Bad boy. Ha. <sighs> ah. Because I deep fried the whole king crab. This sucker is sharp. I feel like those little pointed ends got sharper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is unreal. Ay, a la madre. I want to scoop some of that good good on the bottom. Oh yeah, we got some. Mmm. Oh yeah. Look at that. Mmm. And whatever you have left over, Pop that bad boy in the air fryer for 10 minutes. Perfectly crispy. Mmm. Y'all, this is mad fire. Now I'm gonna move on to... Where are you, bad boy? Oh, here you go, my love. I have a snow crab. <laughs> a snow crab that I breaded. Let's try this. No cap, this is fire. Mm. I'm glad I got some left. Cause trust and believe, I'm gonna be making fried chicken with that. Literally, it don't need nothing. Even when everything comes out, do not, do not add any like salt or anything, it's perfect the way it is. In my opinion. I mean, if you want to use some of this before, be my guest or in a sauce or whatever, but I think it is perfect anymore and it would become too salty because it is, it is the right saltiness. It is perfect right where it is. But if you add anything else on top, I think it might take it a little over the edge. <sighs> don't mess with something that ain't broke. If it ain't broken, don't fix it. Oh, okay. This one right here is for all the king crab lovers and Alfredo. Oh, here we go. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I am so impressed. <laughs> this is everything that I dreamed of. Wow, got my sinus is going. My mom tried one shrimp fresh out the fryer and she was like, oh, this is so good. Oh, I also did this one, extra batter. You guys have to do it extra batter. You, you just have to, I, unless you're like trying to watch your figure like little old me. Then you can do the one coating, but I actually prefer the double coating. It, it does have that extra crunch. Mm, and this is the claw, the claw. All right. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna laugh them. <laughs> mm, mm. Oh my goodness. Mm. 
I have to break into, where's the other claw? I had another claw. Somebody stole my claw. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, I'm getting full. Oh, excuse me. Oi. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. It's so crazy how the Oh, I was gonna say the claw tastes so different from the body, but this is snow crab. I was gonna say the claw tastes so much sweeter than Oh my god, my shirt's filthy. And don't mind this big old pimple right there. But, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. A snow crab is so much sweeter than king crab. Way sweeter. To be honest with you, okay, I love me my king crab. Don't get me wrong. But I'm just obsessed with snow crab. I miss uh, the Eagles Buffet here so much. I don't know why they haven't reopened. Like, uh, the every Wednesday and Thursday, they would have uh, all-you-can-eat snow crab night. I used to love to go to that. I don't think we, we ever missed going to crab night unless we were, like, sick or something. Mm. All right, I'm gonna have one more shrimp. Mm-hmm. Well, anyway, you guys. I hate to cut it short, but I am stuffed. I cannot do another bite. I highly recommend that you guys give this a try. Even if you don't like seafood, if you're just not a big fan of seafood, um, try this on scallops. Uh, scallops. Oh yeah, I was thinking that's what I want to do next. <laughs> try these on chicken, chicken tenders, make chicken strips, or a fried chicken breast sandwich, or you know, fried chicken, hello? And and then of course this, you can put this on, it says seafood, again, I would put this on an old tire and eat it with a knife and fork, honey, yes. Anyway, um, once again, thank you so much to More Flavors for sponsoring this video. I, am, I was so, and still am super excited to have done this. This was my first deep fried breaded seafood boil and i loved it. or seafood fry i guess you could say um you guys once again i will drop the links underneath my video for all of this goodness anyway thank you so much to my bga crew for your love and support if you're new to the channel i want to invite you to the bga crew family by hitting that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you're notified every time i upload or anytime that i go live thank you guys so much for watching until next time besitos